Hello there. Let's do this. Why are you the way that you are? The P90 is great. In fact, it's a top tier weapon in the game. Let's have a look at why. On the overall time to kill summary, the P90 doesn't look that great, sitting near the middle of the pack, which isn't good for a close range weapon. But as I have said before, this is a summary chart and it's a poor way to assess a weapon strength. I want you to see where the PP2000 sits on this chart, it's noticeably higher. Keep that in mind as I compare the P90 against the PP2000, MP7 and MP5. The PP2000 is the P90's closest competition as both of them offer high ammo capacity and are close range focused, fast moving weapons. Now, despite the PP2000's overall time to kill being better in the summary, in reality it performs worse than the P90. The P90 has a better time to kill against unarmoured or broken armoured opponents, and it largely matches the PP2000 elsewhere. The only significant place the PP2000 wins is against heavy armour, which is only run by default assault players. Whilst this isn't irrelevant, I do consider it a less important time to kill stat, as no meta player uses this armour, and default assault players typically aren't the players in the server you should be worrying about countering. The MP7 has overall better time to kill stats and also has 110 movement speed compared to the P90's 1.05, but its 30 rounds shooting at 950 rounds per minute empties a lot quicker than 50 at 800 rounds per minute. The MP5 is the P90's closest time to kill competitor. The P90 offers a 50 round capacity and faster reload speed which makes it a better option for aggressive play, getting into action and getting multi kills whereas the MP5 has less recoil and could do better at longer distance. Use a one time sight of your choice. The short suppressor is used as the P90's recoil is fine for the range you should use the gun for. Quick mags decrease the reload speed and the recoil penalties it adds are acceptable as it's a close range weapon. This weapon feels fantastic once you get used to using it. When getting footage for this video, the safety of having 50 rounds loaded means you can pre-fire and suppress without worrying about running dry, and of course this is the best weapon in the game for close quarters multi-killing. This gun is the undisputed choke point king, think of areas such as Wakasan Bridge. I would like to apologise in advance for the next dung post edit you're about to witness. On top of the 50 round capacity, the reload time is also snappy, and that means you can stay in the fight. The P90 has one of the highest uptimes in the game, with its huge capacity and quick drop reload. See this example, where the last kill is right after a reload. The horizontal recoil for the P90 is on the higher side, but if the recoil is too great, you're likely shooting at an ineffective range anyway, and you should close the gap or change weapons if there's no way to get up close. The damage drop off is ok and isn't an issue. This gun's horizontal recoil limits it before the damage drop off becomes a factor. With a quick 105 move speed and insane uptime, the P90 is best suited for aggressive players that love to get into the centre of the fight between the two teams. It's best in class for respawning, dropping multiple people and just repeating. And when recording for this video, the playstyle naturally led me to getting such high quality clips for it as it pushes you to multi kill with it very naturally. I would pick this gun if the map is choke pointy and if you're an aggressive player. You should absolutely try the P90, it's amongst the best weapons in the game currently. Firstly, I'll show a couple of Wakistan Bridge highlights, a place the P90 thrives in, and then I'll show a game where I got zero deaths with the P90. Thanks for watching.
ਹੋਈ ਹੈ